Hello there, everybody. This is Rob MTL007 from Montreal, Canada. Uh, I'd like to do a review uh, at this moment of the H2000 Hero Android phone, which really resembles very much like the iPhone 4, even with the buttons for volume, uh, shall we say, connection here for the uh, on and off switch, headphone jack, and at the bottom even has shall we say, the connections, the actual connection for the Apple connection itself, the 30-pin connection and speakers. So uh, the one thing I want to say is the phone is a little bit more bigger than an iPhone 4 in size. The screen is the same, 3.5 inches, that's normal, but the weight is incredible. It's one ounce lighter than an iPhone 4, even with the battery included, which I find that really incredible for a phone like this. Um, also, the phone um, take, has a CPU known as the MediaTek T6515, which is 416 megahertz. Remember those numbers, 416 megahertz, because later you will be surprised at what I'm going to say about that CPU. Compared to the ARM 4, A4, for the 1 gigahertz for the iPhone 4. Um, also, this um, phone has something different in that when you actually uh, go here at the bottom and you pull, there will be an antenna that comes out. So now actually you have a, um, an application called Mobile TV and you can watch your actual local television on the phone, which uh, for Montreal I actually can ca capture between 6 and 10 uh, channels, which it's not bad, but you should be outside because indoors there's a lot of snow on the channels. Yeah, of course, it has a capacitive screen, but the one thing that I did notice is that whenever you uh, access the, um, you're doing a search and you're accessing um, the, the, the keyboard and you're standing this way, which is the vertical or portrait mode, and you're pressing on the keys, uh, to hit the key, the correct key, is a little bit of a problem. But when you actually go this way and the, the keys go much bigger for you, then it's much easier to hit the, the keys the correct way. That's one thing I didn't notice. Um, one good thing also is the design is great, and what's what's also good is, let's turn it back on again, is also what's good is that it's a fraction of the cost. At this moment, uh, it is they're going approximately on places like Kijiji Canada and uh, other online places are selling, that is privately selling, for between $240 and $250. But uh, unfortunately, there is also some people on eBay, especially eBay USA, and uh, they are coming in from China, and s many of them are selling for less than $200, actually selling uh, very close to the wholesale cost of this phone, which I don't know how they do it and why they, would they do that for, shall we say, competition use. I don't know why. Now we talk about what is known as the um, little bit of the problems of the phone. The first thing that I'm noticing, and I cannot be able to correct it, is this part over here, which is where you put the SIM card in. So this does take GSM of quad band uh, frequencies, no, no 3G, no 3G at all. It does not take that. And when I take my SIM card and I put it in here for Canada or Montreal, I've been uh, I'm on Rogers and it works perfectly. Uh, I tried to connect my SIM card in here and I tried to lock it in, but it doesn't want to lock in. This little plastic rubber tab seems to stick out, and if that if the SIM card just sticks out that way, it would be a very bad design. So thank God inside here there is the the back comes off. There is inside what is known as um, uh, an, a second SIM card slot, which fits very easily, and the, the card fits perfectly, and there's no problems at all. You also can put a micro SD card up to 32 gigs, and there is two batteries included with the phone. That's great. Plus, we have also here is the back camera and then the front camera, which I will speak to in a little while, I would say. Then we go to what is known as the part of uh, when I press on the screen to change, let's say, um, wallpaper or whatever, you can actually see right now it's all in Chinese. Well, unfortunately, I speak three languages, but I don't speak Chinese. 
um, one thing happens is that even though inside the language uh, uh, setups I did put in English, that firmware that is a firmware problem, I believe, and that uh, that is not fixed at this moment. So I hope they will fix that. Uh, like I said, uh, it takes it has two batteries included in the box. But one thing I could say, if you use a lot of the applications, what will happen is the battery, as you can see on top of here right now, it would go very low. Within maybe two hours or so, the battery will go down to zero, I would say. Also, I noticed another problem is that I can actually download Skype from the Android market, and the Android market is completely full market. There's nothing to worry about that. Uh, so you can actually download Skype, but whenever you try to log in with your username and password on Skype, it will not log in. It just keeps on trying to log in and does not. Again, this is not a problem, I believe, with the phone. I believe it's a problem that many people on the Skype Android forum of Skype are actually, um, shall we say, voicing. So there's something happening with Skype about that. So I don't think it's a phone problem. Uh, when you use the headphones right over here, uh, what happens is you have to uh, um, uh, you have to use it, its own headphone uh, connection. It does not take a standard connection. And another thing too, also I noticed that when you get a call or you're making a call, the screen when your ear goes to the to the uh, to the phone, the screen does not go blank like it would do on an iPhone 4. So uh, one thing I noticed that is a problem because what happens is sometimes you start hearing noises because the screen is touching, uh, shall we say, uh, some keys or something. And another thing too is the famous uh, front-facing video camera. The front-facing video camera is basically here. Just basically going to find the front-facing video camera to access there. So now, to access this front-facing ca video camera, right now it's the back one, I would say, you have to go to this part over here, and there's a section, uh, whoops, sorry, just one more lower than that, or one more higher than that. Where did you go? Let me, let me just flick it, flick over to video, it's going to be easier for me. Okay, so now it says over here, main camera. To find actually the um, to find actually the other camera, you have to scroll up, and it took me a while to find that scrolling. I could not find that scrolling at first, but thank God I did find it. So now I did fix up the problem, and the cameras, fr the front and back, are uh, shall we say, uh, not bad. Approximation, come see, come saw. They're they're shall we say, uh, you know, uh, average cameras. So we spoke about all the negative things of the phone. Uh, other than that, now we're going to go very fast. The call sound is very, very good. You can talk to the person, no problem at all. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the Android market is full. Assisted GPS with Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi has got to be on for the GPS to work. So if you have no Wi-Fi, it will not basically work for the, the, uh, the, the uh, assisted GPS. And it's reasonable for the GPS. Uh, uh, between uh, 80 to 90, almost 95% of all the applications you download from the App Store, the, the app market, I should say, from Android, will work with no problem at all, except for, as I you saw before, um, uh, uh, Skype doesn't work. And then we have, uh, you can add a 32 gig card in the back, micro SD card, mobile TV and FM radio. Um, uh, basically uh, are available and mobile TV like I said you can use it for your local city or town now the greatest thing is you can actually add a, a, a video in here you can put it in the micro SD card and it will play for me a 720p video in MP4 and it's uh, H262 264 and it will not stutter it will not lose any frame drops or whatever. That's what I find incredible. The screen won't show you 720p, but it basically will play a 720p video, which I find that incredible for, like I said before, a 416 megahertz uh, CPU. That's one thing about that. And then the weight, like I said, is really, really good. And the last but not least, if we go to this section over here, back to here, and we go to where it says over here, let's get this in focus again. Hello, you're going to focus for me now? Or did you just fall asleep on me for a second? 
Uh, she doesn't want to focus anymore. So the contact section over here, let's see, there, now she's focusing. The contact section right over there is basically linked to your Google contacts. So if you go on your computer, your desktop computer, and you put in a name, automatically it will sync when you go on Wi-Fi here with the contacts here. So you don't have to do it manually here on this phone, which would be much more difficult. So what do I rate this phone? I would say, well, to be honest, I almost want to give it an 8 on 10, but I'm going to give it a 7 for some reasons because of the SIM, SIM card slot problem, unless I get it fixed or it gets fixed or whatever, or someone tells me how to fix it or whatever. And the other thing is I would give it a 7 because of other little things like, like I said, when you put your, uh, your ear to the phone, uh, you have problems, and also the widgets are in Chinese. But I'm really happy about the TV, mobile TV. I'm happy that I can actually play a 720p video format, uh, shall we say, uh, video. That's what's good. And uh, for the fraction of the price, I mean, I would not complain. This is like, even though at $240, or even if you can get it for less than $200, it's really incredible for what it can be. But I would say to myself, or I would say, if we look in six months to the future, or maybe a year to the future, a year from now, what will uh, China come up with that would be, shall we say, overwhelming uh, compared to what that is available at this moment? So this is my review of the H2000 Hero phone. And uh, to be honest, uh, it, it's an incredible phone. We'll see what happens in the future, what they're going to come up with it. Thank you very much. Have a good day.